hi guys welcome to today's tutorial please subscribe like and share okay so we'll be looking at how to make a 3d nose mask using Ankara fabric and uh, a plain lining okay so the first thing we are going to do is to cut a rectangle of 10.5 inches by 7.5 inches okay and then the next thing we are going to do is to mark two inches all at the corners okay and just to make it easy I just folded it into two like so and folded it again so that I could just mark and cut at once so I'm marking two inches inwards on one side and two inches downwards on the other side and I'm just going to connect the lines like so and then I'm going to cut it out this nose mask is quite um, comfortable it gives you enough room for breathing so it's quite comfortable and it's also very easy to make so you can choose what works for you this is what it looks like okay well, this is, I find this quite easy instead of having to mark two inches all around the corner so I've done the same thing to the lining at once and we're just going to take this to the sewing machine and sew using uh, about half an inch all from that point and stopping there we're going to be leaving that area open so that we can turn out the fabric okay okay so it's been sewn and as you can see where I started and where I stopped that gives me room to turn it out and then we are going to go over to the next step I have also gone ahead to press it so that it's nice and neat so the next thing I'm going to do is to fold my fabric by two inches like so and then run a seam of half an inch sorry um, a quarter of an inch along that line all the way and we're going to be doing the same thing to the other side folding two inches and create a seam using a quarter of an inch you can iron this press it down so that it's easy to work with so it's done and this is what it looks like okay so the next thing we are going to do is to create the casing for our elastic So we are going to be folding the two inches which we folded earlier okay so we'll be creating the casing for the elastic you can make it maybe one inch or three quarter of an inch okay that depends on you and the elastic you're using okay so just take it slowly to the way i folded it right then fold and fold again until it, la it claps on the fold that we, that we created okay and do the same thing for the other side okay so just in case you missed it see the way i'm folding it it's lapping on that on that edge that is not straight so that by the time you want to wear the mask it creates that pleat sort of okay so i'm done creating the casing and we're going to insert our elastic elastic length of 10 inches so I'm going to go ahead and cut out two pieces so I want to pass through my elastic through the casing I just created and once I do that I'm going to Back stitch several times so that it doesn't snap 
or you could do a zigzag stitch or you could even knot it any one that's easy for you to achieve that's fine So I'm done and this is what it looks like so I'm just going to hide those stitches by drawing the elastic into the casing just to hide it done I gave it a good press and see how beautiful it is okay you can try this at home for yourself your loved ones give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video like and share thank you so much for watching until next time cheers